Hi, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm going to be doing my check-in for week two of September, looking at what I've spent and then putting any change towards some challenges. So I'm going to jump right in. This week has been all right. I've got some spends that I'm not too happy about, but at the same time, it's just happened and um, everything else is pretty normal. So I've got a few no spends as well. Oh, I've got a no spend there. Forgot to write that in. Who even does an end like that? <laughs> anyway, so we left off with Thursday the 8th. Now that was a no spend. I also had the 11th, which is a no spend, the 13th, and today is also a no spend. I know I've got some of today left, but I don't plan on spending anything, so I'm just going to mark that off anyway. So the 9th of September was actually an unbudgeted spend. Now this was £60, and it was a mix of B&M and Etsy. Uh, B&M was mostly Halloween stuff I've seen, well it was actually B&M and Home Bargains, so it was Halloween stuff, like Halloween decorations that I've seen, and I got some things just to cheer myself up and I used the holiday money um, that we'd saved for Disneyland Paris. Uh, I just sent it back over to my account from Monzo because I was just needing some retail therapy to be fair and I also spent some on Etsy as well just a few different bits so if you would like a, a, a Happy Meal haul then let me know because I think some bits are due tomorrow and the rest should be here kind of like the start of next week. So let me know about that. Um, and then I spent £52.10 in Asda. That was just on my normal shopping, which was fine. On the 10th, we had a day's out. Now, I can't remember what that was for, actually. Oh, do you know what? It was for McDonald's. Grace and I we went to the park and we had a McDonald's and we had um, an ice cream and stuff. But that night I actually had to take her to out of hours. She wasn't really feeling very well. She had a temperature really quite high for her. Um, but she's all good. She's back to nursery now and she's quite the wee thing. She just um, she was just having a few off days, which is understandable. Um, I just made sure that it was nothing serious, which was good. Um, and then miscellaneous, I spent £2.42. This was on my nephew's birthday invitations. He's having a party in October and I just offered to help out and do some invitations for him. So that was what that was for. And then £1.05 on spending. We were out and about and I just went to the shops and got a Coke Zero Vanilla. I know a lot of people don't like the Coke Zero Vanilla, but... I do and it was £1.05 so we've not done much spending I'm a bit disappointed with this but at the same time I felt like I needed it I needed to go to Home Bargains and B&M and just spend some more money than what I would usually spend or just going in for some, like the specific things I needed um, so I felt okay with that and I'm quite happy with it so we're all good so I'm going to go into what I've got left in my purse I think I've actually got quite a lot of change. Okay. Now this is my Slim World money for if anybody who doesn't know. Okay, look. So groceries, we've got £10. And I think there's actually another five in pound coins. that's fine. Household has got five. I'm going to put this towards the Costco envelope. Now fuel has £20 left which I actually forgot about. I'm going to, need to check how much fuel's getting this week and to see whether to roll that over or not. Miscellaneous is getting, is getting, has got a couple of pounds in there. Spending has got... Why have I got so much money left? I feel like I'm doing this on the wrong day. 
it's just not been a spendy week to be honest but maybe in, I'm going to double check to make sure I've left myself with enough for the month I feel like I've went somewhere wrong and days out I'm going to just keep the pound coins in so there's five pounds worth or I'll swap it with a five pound note and I'm going to just take the change out and then that's all the change right I'm going to just double check this is on this is a video on how not to budget <laughs> um, right so we're on week three yeah then week four then week five yeah right okay <laughs> Now let's just check how much I'm leaving for I know I'm in August but I'm, um, I write it all down here on how much I'm putting in for September So week 3 I am putting £40 into fuel so I'm going to just roll that £20 into challenges I think Okay so <clears throat> I've got £5 going over to my Costco, which I think is this one. Oh, by the way, my new binder. I love it. I've got two of them. So I've got this one and I've got the pink one. Um, I'm waiting on the blue one arriving. I definitely didn't need them, but I actually ordered these way back in July um, off of AliExpress. Now, AliExpress is actually a lot cheaper than some of the Etsy stores are selling them for. And I'm not saying that just to take away some of the businesses. It's just that we are on a budget and if you want to wait a wee bit longer but get it cheaper then definitely check out AliExpress and um, just check the reviews to make sure that you're obviously going to get it but look how much these match I just absolutely love it so Costco I'm just going to put that five in I was meant to be going to Costco this month but my mum and I go together and she's not managing this month because of work so we're going to go on the 1st of October 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75 and 80 Let me know if you're interested in the Costco haul um, to work out if it is actually cheaper or not I mean I've never done that kind of sort of video before so it might be a mess I don't know but Somebody had asked to kind of see what I've bought, so I don't know if that's something everybody else is interested in or not. And then because I'm actually going to do, um, I'm going to put five pounds into this. I'm going to take five pounds out. Well, I'll just put the ten in. Do you know what? I'm going to just put the ten in to get those trip because I've just got the cost of the second henny, like some my pal's henny, and um. It's working out at about £250 without spending money, so I just want to get some spare money put into here. So I'll pop another 10 in, and then that's a little bit extra. So I've got 100 in the bank, and then 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, so 165. And I've already paid like £80 towards my henny, so that's fine. Okie dokie, so on to challenges. Now, 50ps. Oh, I've got four 50ps. I do love getting a 50p now. <laughs> it was never really significant before. Um, my fiance collects coins so he always liked when I got 50p but personally I wasn't really bothered about it but now because I get to do this I love it that's four 50p's and then let's see so we've got 20 two three four five six seven eight no i'm just going to do that i think because i would like to get 20 oh no it's 29 <laughs> i'd like to get 29 just crossed off so i'm going to put the notes into this one i've got two tins this is my second tin for this one but then 
it just doesn't fit any more notes into the other tin so I'm going to just put the coins into the one that's full and then pop the, the note into this one. There we go. And then we've got one, two, three, four, which I can't do. I'm going to just pop that towards the penny challenge because this one I am just about done with. I want to just batter through. So we've got four pounds, one, two, three, four, five, five pound, five, forty, fifty, seventy, eighty, ninety, six pound. 610, 615, 621. I've lost my calculator. <laughs> Okey doke, so £6.21. And I'm going to knock off £2.51. Do you know what? We might actually get another row done. We are going to get another row done. Minus two pounds and forty nine leaves one pound twenty one, which I've got as well. So, way so happy with that. It's three knocked, and I've got another line completed. I do prefer working backwards though because it just. Once I get up to these ones, it's going to be so much easier because I'll get more crossed off. It's actually really sunny in Scotland today, but it's cold, it's chilly. Okay, so yeah, this is looking really good. Mm. Right. I'm not going to do that on here because there's too many of them. So that's me for my check-in. I hope you've all enjoyed it. Um, my shout-outs for this week is Scottish Mama Budgets. She is another Scottish budgeter and she's quite new. Um, I think she'll post a few videos. So I'll leave her in the description below and you can go and give her some love. And then another one's um, an OG that I started watching before I even done videos and that's Bronwyn Budgets. Bronwyn, she's got her our cats um, who are always featured in our videos they, um, they like to take over our channel so yeah go and give her some love as well and I will catch you all for my next video which will be my chicken uh, my cash stuffing sorry for week 3 of September don't know where September's going but hey ho okie doke bye bye